Hello, I'm Emmett Craven and welcome to How to Zenotic. In this tutorial we're going to go through how to install maps offline for the CTS or Defrag game mode. This tutorial is accompanied by a forum post which will be updated with more and more details. Uh, this is mostly aimed at people who want to test maps offline, but potentially also if you're going on holiday you might want to play some maps offline as well. So we're going to start with that, then we're going to go into the edits and configuration changes to make the maps from potentially Quake 3D, Frag or Warsaw or other games compatible with Xenotic. So let's get into uh, installing the map in the first place. So we're going to be starting off here in our home slash username slash dot Xenotic folder. There'll be on screen now the links to that on Windows and Mac and they will also be copy pasteable obviously from that forum post so do check that out it will be updated with uh, anything that changes we're going to be focusing on the dl cache here because i'm going to assume that the first people that need this part of the tutorial are going to be coming from relax running and potentially going on holiday i'm going to take ao1 race because it's right here very easy to find and we're just going to move it up one level we're just going to copy and paste it into this top level you can see i've got some other maps in here that I've tried to uh, run before. So now we are just going to simply hop back into the game. So now after we've put the game into the data folder we're going to come back into the game and we're going to fs rescan. This gets all the files back, um, rescans the file system for new package ar archives so your map will load. If you've just restarted the game you won't need to do this obviously it does it on first load up. Then we're going to exec do this before you get into the game exec rule set xdf.cfg that'll exec all of those things set your game up properly you're probably going to want sv cheats one gcts one g respawn delay forced one g respawn delay max zero g start delay zero g no recoil one g shoot from i one and sys tick rate naught point naught one one two three four sixes and then a seven uh oops this is underscore tick rate there we go um that, they'll all be copy pasteable. That's the basics for absolute minimum setting up a map. And then we load into the map. So we're going to go AO1 race. And that's going to set you up in the CTS game mode straight into uh, the game with all the settings enabled and the correct physics and everything that you're going to need to, uh, to play CTS. So that's your starting point the next stuff we're going to do we're going to swap over to a map with some weapons and we're going to give all of the possible um possible main settings a go to set the game up for uh for any compatibility changes that you may need all right so now we've rejoined on the other map this is a map straight from quake 3 it's not been fixed up yet so we're going to go through some of the most popular uh changes including weapons changes the most popular one you're going to need is g underscore player clip collisions and you're going to want to make that uh zero that helps a little bit i can't quite do much to prove it uh, yeah it's it's more for when you're going faster um Another thing you might want to do, be careful when using this. This will make the entire map slick. SV underscore friction zero. So this makes the entire map slick. Even though it's not actually slick, it just makes the whole thing. So only do this if the entire map is actually slick. Uh, SV friction six is the default. So definitely think twice about using that one. But if it's a full slick map anyway... That can help some of the slight bugs where layers don't line up when the game is ported the map over. For weapons, you may want G underscore balance. Uh, then the weapon that you want, Hagar, Vortex, whatever. We're going to go with Vortex for this one. Weapon start override. Weapon start override one. This will mean that if we restart the map, 
we will now be given the Vortex on spawn. So if you need someone to have a weapon from right at the start of the game, then that's going to be good. If, for example, you want uh, someone to have Quake 3 compatible hitboxes, that helps. I've actually already got them enabled, but that's going to help you with things like this, getting under here. But also, uh, if I can get over here, in normal Xenotic, you'd just be able to jump straight up that uh, over there. But in with Quake 3 hitboxes, it stops you, which means you have to use the rocket or have to use the uh, sidebar over there. This map actually doesn't want this vortex, but we'll use it anyway. The next thing is, if you notice just here, we have infinite ammo on everything we pick up. We shouldn't do. So we're going to have G underscore use ammunition set to 1. We're going to need... A lot of these will need a restart. So we just go hit restart. Again, check the... Uh, Check the description and everything. So now, yeah, we've got eight. The issue here is that these are shared ammo. There is not really a way to fix that, but um, yeah. Just kind of have to put up with that in some situations. So the other one is G underscore balance underscore then the weapon. Hagar. And then secondary... Oh, uh, sorry. Probably going to want primary ammo. And that will tell you how much it's going to use. So if we set this now to 4, then we go get the Hagar from just here. That's going to use 4 per instead of 1. And if we set it to 1, we're going to pick that up. And now it's going to use 1 per shot. So depending on how the map is balanced and how much ammo you get in certain situations, you may want to change that to uh, balance to have the correct amount of ammo. In general, the game will give you more ammo for different things and you shouldn't need to uh, shouldn't need to change that too much. You can also have G underscore pickup. Uh, G underscore pickup respawn, respawn time. So you can have the respawn time incredibly short for different things like the strengths at the start or the weapons or whatever you need to have a shorter or longer respawn time. The final thing that we're going to go through is some binds that will be linked in the description that I've got set up for, uh, thank you to Jasker by the way for these binds. Um, these are for testing sections at the same time so we're going to have one that is, right, did I press the right one? Damn it I pressed the wrong one. Um, so, X to kill yourself. You probably already know how to bind things to kill by now. Uh, Z is going to clear the save state, which we'll talk about in a second, and give you no clip, which allows you to fly around, go through walls and stuff. And then we're going to have a save state. So I'm going to try and get into the middle of a save state so that I can show you. Through here, go up, create a save state. Hopefully that did it. Then, yeah, so we can restore the save state so that we can test sections of a difficult map and then if we want to create a save state here reload it so i can test like that again quite useful quite useful really to uh create a save state unfortunately it does uh not change your weapon back but those are some useful binds they'll be linked in the description for some maps there may, may be some other things you want to enable so g underscore power ups one is going to be something you may want to enable. There's also then for every single power up, you want to enable that if you're going to have it. Shield is kind of not needed. Uh, that's the invincibility. I believe we get it just here. Uh, you'll have to restart for these. What about that? I do believe we get it just here. Yes, we get it just here. So um, you won't really need that because we already have infinite health in um, CTS. But something that you may need is, do, 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 can I get around here please, do, do, do. professional commentary, uh, strength power up. So you'll need to, um, you'll need to enable that with G underscore power ups one, just to make it actually happen. And then G underscore power ups underscore strength one, and then you'll have to restart your server to make it enabled. Buffs as well, uh, but I don't know if buffs are a thing. I'm not quite entirely sure what which ones are buffs and which ones are power-ups. But whichever way around it is, 
those should be the main things that you're going to need hopefully uh, you'll be able to get things running from this tutorial if not ask in the discord which is going to be linked below ask uh, have a look at the forum post which is going to update with the most relevant information the things people keep asking and hopefully we'll be able to get some more great maps including weapons maps and combo maps included onto the Xenotic servers uh, but please do test them thank you for watching the whole way through this video and uh, thank you for, I assume, testing your maps and getting great new maps onto the Xenotic servers. See you on the servers. Thank you very much.